Hey everyone, today we are going to take a look at uh, OpenAI O1 and Perplexity Researcher. When you ask a question such as when will AGI be achieved, we instruct O1 to generate up to 20 questions. Uh, here are the questions it came up with to answer this. And we use each one of these questions in parallel to get answers from Perplexity. And then we write that through a combined QA. Here, uh, the answer questions and the answer to each question in detail. Perplexity is instructed to return detailed questions too. And then we combine the, all of the answers and get a final response from um, GPT. Uh, actually, it, has all, it also has two modes, a normal mode and an opinionated mode. This is the answer in an opinionated mode. It always gives reasoning for its answer. And in the end, it gives a conclusion. Uh, here we go. It says that experts predict that artificial intelligence could be achieved anywhere from mid-2020s to mid-21st century. So you can read its detailed answer. Uh, in opinionated mode, it's uh, instructed to give a more direct answer. It says it's going to be achieved by 2050. Here is another one for uh, predicting this NVIDIA stock price by 2030. By the way, you should not look at this as financial advice, and you shouldn't probably use LLMs for financial advice. But this is just an experiment. Just keep that in mind. When we ask the NVIDIA stock price for 2030, it asks these questions. What are the key factors uh, that could influence NVIDIA stock price? So 20 detailed uh, questions. And then, again, we got responses from perplexity. And then we got a final response in the normal mode. Of course, we have our reasoning, which you can read through and make your educated guess. But the direct answer is that by we got by 2030, NVIDIA stock price is projected to range approximately from 800 to 4,000 per share. And in the opinionated mode, we can see that it actually gave an exact answer while the projection of 3,000 per share in 2030 is informed through by thorough analysis. Of course, it goes on to say that uh, this is just a guess and that uh, a lot of things can influence that. Again, like I said, do not look at this as financial advice, please, but just as an experiment with a large language model. So we're going to be reviewing the code, uh, and it's a pretty simple application, actually, but the code files for this will be available at my Patreon. Link will be in the description if you want to download it. Okay, so let's review the code. We do need our Perplexity API key and OpenAI API key. At the beginning, we define how many questions we want to ask. Last I checked, Perplexity actually has 20, uh, qu 20 queries per minute, so that's why I'm setting this to 20. If you want it to work faster, you can actually set it to a lower amount. Let's actually, before we review the code, let's run this and see how it works. Uh, we can ask any question we like. For example, let's ask, when will humanoid robots powered by AI will be common in regular homes? When we do that, uh, we will process the question and generate 20 uh, questions to ask. Here are the questions. And uh, we also save them to file for future review. Here are the 20 questions. And then immediately after that, we actually start getting answers from perplexity in parallel for each one of the uh, questions. So this is important to consider a topic from many different perspectives obviously. And then once these are uh, created, then we, we save them to a file if you want to do further analysis or maybe copy paste it into ChatGPT to ask different, uh, get different answers. And then we, as we send all of the answers back to O1 and try to get a final answer. This is going to be an opinionated answer. Uh, the final response, let's take a look. Again, it gives a long answer, and at the end, a shorter answer. Conclusion, taking into account uh, current pace of technological innovation, it says expected to be common in regular homes between late 2030s and in the 2050s. Okay, it is instructed to give an opinionated answer, but it's still, of course, by its training, uh, is trained not to do that, but you know, you, we can modify the uh, system message, of course, to try to get it. And we'll, we'll see how we are actually trying to accomplish that. So we, we uh, review in the code. We do all our imports, uh, set up our perplexity and open AI API key. We define how many questions we want to process. 
like I said, I think per pixel is a 20 per minute uh, limit, but feel free to experiment with that. Like I said, this will be available at my Patreon. Uh, we set opinionated to true. You can set this to false if you like. We initialize a perplexity client with uh, async OpenAI with the base URL pointed to perplexity and OpenAI client, again, with async OpenAI. Here we have a function to sanitize file name. So the user questions are turned in file names, actually. So we don't have any um, non-file name characters, as you can see here. Uh, it's just a healthy function. Generate study questions is going to just send a message to O1. Generate up to this many questions, crucial, this many crucial study questions to deeply understand the given topic. Each question should be enclosed in uh, these XML tags. Your questions must be crafted in a way to clearly and directly answer the user's question by exploring many, many different aspects of the topic, but essential to answer the question directly. And then we send another user message, generate study questions. Since O1 currently isn't supporting system message, we're kind of simulating it with a separate user message. Then we simply call OpenAI and we print the reasoning tokens. We forgot to look at it, but in my experiment, it can use anywhere up to a thousand tokens for this type of questions. And then we find all the questions with regex and then just uh, returns it, return it uh, up to that many questions we have specified. And then here we are going to make a query to perplexity with make query function. We print an informative statement. The system message for perplexity is for each user query, do a deep and detailed search. This to affect perplexity's performance. Uh, respond with a detailed and well formatted response. And then we just pass in the question. And then we call perplexity with Lama 3.1 sonar large 128K online. There's also a huge model. Uh, but that's going to be smaller, like, so, sorry, slower. I just opted for the medium size model. They also have a small model as well if you want it real fast. You do have to use the online model when using API for internet search. So this is going to perform our search. We're going to return the responses. And here we are going to process the question. Uh, we're going to sanitize the topic as a file name. And then we generate the questions, study questions, save questions to file. Uh, as we have seen here. And then we're going to create a task query for each question. And then we, we are going to call the make query function to perplexity before each task. And we're going to run asyncbio.gather and get the responses. And then we're going to prepare a combined string of all answers with questions here. Uh, we're going to combine them. And then we are uh, also going to create a combined answers. Now, we are not including the questions in the context that we are going to pass to O1 for a final answer. Because it, I found it takes a lot of questions, confuses it, because we ask our original question too. I think it's, it was best to just keep the answers. And we save the combined questions and answers to file here. And then we craft our message here as the user message. <laughs> which is kind of like the system message. We're saying you're a researcher and we'll be providing a detailed context of answers to related questions. You must think deeply about the user question. Reason with the provided context as well as everything you already know. Provide, provide detailed thinking and reasoning with the answer. And then here we are going to provide, um, uh, you know, whether it's opinionated or not. See, if, if, if opinionated is false, and we're going to say at the very end of your detailed response, provide a simple and direct answer to the user's question. If opinionated, we're going to actually set this as an empty string. But we are going to say, if it is not opinionated, your final answer must answer the user's question directly. Uh, otherwise, if it is opinionated, we're going, to, we're going to say at the end, you must provide an exact answer or your best guess, even if you're not entirely certain, be decisive and commit to a specific answer. And then we just pass the combined another with another user message. We pass the combined answers, and then we ask now to answer this question, the user question. And then we just make the call, print the reasoning tokens, save the final response, sanitize it, and then save the sanitize the topic name, and then save the final uh, response. You can also save individual responses, but this is commented out in our main. You just uh, take a user question and process the question. So this is about it. I'd like to improve this further, but this is currently where it's at. Now, like I said, you can download the uh, code files from my Patreon.
along with uh, almost uh, over 300 other projects. If you enjoyed this project, you can actually visit my website at echohive.live and see all my free videos, such as the O1 full stack web, build, web app builder. Uh, I have Ideation LLM Academy. I try to create very interesting and useful apps almost every day. And as a patron, you'll have access just by clicking these. For example, if you were interested in Ideation LLM Academy, you can watch the video. And if you're interested in the code, just click on this link. It'll take you to Patreon. You can find the uh, code attachment under each post. So as a patron, you'll have access to all of these, as well as my 1000x masterclass, in which I have over 20 chapters in uh, cursor. And uh, if you're encoding, I highly recommend using cursor. As you can see, this was built in cursor. And this uh, 1000x masterclass includes full project builds, over 11 hours of content, 21 app building walkthroughs. First chapter is free, cursor deep dive, and each you can preview each chapter for up to two minutes. And if you're interested in getting in touch with me one-on-one, uh, -on -one, by the way, the link for my 1000x masterclass will be uh, below in the description. But if you are uh, interested in talking with me one-on-one, -on -one, I also have uh, consulting tiers if you need help with your projects or just want to talk to me. Check out those tiers at my Patreon as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. As some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files, so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses. And my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well.